This is Twit. When Apple announced this, in fact, Apple, I think they announced this at WWDC last year, said, we're going to have a HomePod, and it's going to be able to do stereo pairing, mm -hmm. and it's going to have multi-room sound, and they just released that after all this time. With iOS 11.4. Yes. So, I had to buy another HomePod, because <laughs> I only have one. I don't know many people would have more than one, except maybe Renee Ritchie. And Apple shareholders, you are welcome for this yeah, segment. Yeah, so uh, here's a brand new HomePod. We thought we'd start from scratch I to think see, you just pull it, yeah. see how hard this is. First of all, we decided to go, go with the matching. I hair. like that. It's, I like okay. can, I, can I take off the plastic? Please. It's, isn't that the satisfyingest uh, thing? Yes. Yeah. Now, it's like it, your body after a sunburn. You know, the real reason I buy Apple stuff is for the stickers. I think Apple puts more time into yeah. engineering the uh, the cable holders than most companies put into designing their whole product. <laughs> like, look it, at how fancy that is. Was it Neil is. Patel who said that the cable is surprisingly supple? It is a supple cable. Cables think, can't be supple. That is a good cables. word for it. Here's our supple cable. So the first thing you're going to do with your brand new HomePod after you plug it in and let it do its, it's thing. It's, look, there's it's, graphics going it's on. Going, we're gonna see how hard this is to get. You're gonna see my face prepare. inside the reflection that? there. That's fantastic. <laughs> wow. Your I'm head the, fits right in the middle. Of I'm it. being attacked by a spinning I... graphic. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it made noise. Ooh, it's making noise. Ooh, it's pulsing. I wanna how do I there we go, that's better. So, <laughs> so when you get a brand new home pod, <laughs> the first thing you do is you pair it uh, to your home <clears> app. <throat> Let me see here. I think I have this up on your screen. And this is the, the demo plus. segment of the show, so if there is a glitch, we apologize, but this am, is how all new hardware goes. I'm going to add an accessory. I could add a scene, but I'm going to add an accessory. So let's see. Uh, home. I could use the HomeKit setup code okay. or hold it near the accessory. <gasps> it recognized it. So I have to say, Apple is brilliant in this regard. They really know how to do this. Um, now, I don't know what would be the right thing to choose for pairing. I, the other one's in the kitchen. Should I say kitchen? No, 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 no. Do, do it from, oh, okay. No, no, no. Yeah. It's going to be stereo. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, do I want to enable personal requests? Oh, what the heck. Should I transfer settings? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it plays you a song. Isn't the onboarding? The onboarding is so good. One of the things it does do is it plays music and then adjusts itself for the room. So let's put this yes, there's where a, we want it to be. There's a fancy word for that. Advanced beam forming provides a wider <laughs> sound stage than traditional <laughs> stereo pair. Wow. I don't know what those words mean, but they sound fancy. If well, you're an audiophile, I'm sorry. We'll recap a little bit of, uh, oh, what, uh, I have to put in my password. Don't look now. Okay. No, no, don't, don't. Mm -mm. Uh, one of the things that uh, we talked about when we first got the HomePod was how it's built. It's got a upward firing subwoofer. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of a uh, misnomer to call it a sub, but the, the low sp end speakers that, and then it's got speakers, tweeters all the way around. I think seven of them, and for a total of eight you, uh, different drivers, eight speakers, each with its own driver. The the nice, and of course, it's got four array mics, so it can hear you anywhere in the room. But the nice thing about how, there it is, those are the seven tweeter array, the nice thing, that six just looks That looks fantastic. Yeah. The nice that. thing about having those tweeters all the way around is it can aim the music somewhat. So uh, that's why Apple said, you don't need a stereo pair because you're getting the full stereo sound, but of course it's only separated at most by the, Six width, inches? the width of Eight your, inches? The width of your head, if you've got a really tiny head. Really tiny head. So it says HomePod is ready. Good, all right. Now, let's see here. Um, I am going to see what we do. There's the two HomePods. That's okay. fantastic. Oh, it says update available. I probably should update it because that's going to add, I would guess, the AirPlay 2 capability. Oh, yes. Yeah. So now, mm, in Home App, open one of the HomePods, tap Create Stereo Pair. Okay. Move to tap. Oh. That's playing. Maybe I have to, uh, it's updating. I'm sorry. It's like two different bongos. So where do I create stereo pair? That's my Maybe question. Maybe press and hold. Um, update available. Download. Oh, I think I have to actually manually do this. All right. Ah. We're going to get a HomePod 11.4. Now, this is ironic because this is the one that came from the factory. It's a brand new one. And that's one that is not updated. It's not updated. This one is. That one's been on the network for a while sitting in uh, our yeah. kitchen, so it probably got updated automatically before. All right, so it took a while 
But huh. two and a half gigabytes later, we've got both HomePods up to the latest version of their operating system. Now I'm going to pair them. Let's see how hard that is. So the, what we do, I guess, is we force touch one of them and select details. These are all the settings. And here it is, create stereo pair. I'm going to select another HomePod to create a stereo pair. Uh, tap on a HomePod above it. Tap on a HomePod above to identify it and swap them if needed. Okay, so I'll, I'll tab this one. No, no, no. Nope. So which one is that? That's the right one. That's the right one. Mm -hmm. That's what it should be. And this is the left one. So that's so we have left, right. Oh, I see. Sure. So for our benefit, this is left, right. But that's one of the things. This is probably a little bit uh, of a downgrade because the whole idea of the HomePod is you could be anywhere in the room and hear kind of stereo sound. Now it's more like a traditional stereo where you want to sit in front of the stereo pair, but that's what we've done. So, all right, um, we're done. We so? now have a... St we, so what happens is your icon changes. See, I only have one icon, Kitchen HomePod, left and right. Should we play some music? Where are you going with that? I'm going to make it more farther away so more it's more stereo? stereo. Yes, this is my plan. Extreme oh, stereo. Wait, in camera? There we yeah, go. Yeah, keep it there in the we camera. Go. <laughs> all right. Okay, so here's problem number one. It's playing two different songs. So that's not going to work out so well. Uh, <laughs> it's extreme stereo. Wait, do that again. Was it really? No, I guess not. No, no, no just... it's just bad. Oh, I see. <laughs> Here, why don't you play right. one slow so song? So I play a song. All right, so I'm going to go to my Apple Music. Give us a... Uh, play a Alias by In Flames. Is that your favorite no. in the whole wide world? No, but it has a guitar intro, I think. That'll work out well okay, for us. Okay, Alias. The Beatles with the hard left right. Oh! I, I've been outvoted, I believe, by... by uh... We definitely don't want this, whatever this what is. What is this? What Alias oh, this song do you want? Uh, alias by In Flames. In oh, Flames is the oh. band. I've got the band Alias, and they don't have a song called In Flames. Ah, I see. So. If you're not a fan of uh, Swedish music, here's an intro. Uh, yeah. In Flames, and the name of the... The song is Alias. Yeah, no, I can't find which it. Which is off of Come Clarity, I believe. Come Clarity, okay. This, oh, is, this, is, this, is, this is So tough. glad we're doing this. Yeah, well, okay. I could have picked something easier. This I don't know. I don't know how to work that. Why don't you pick a song, Leo, and then... It's apparently completely ignoring the choice because it's staying with the Peter Gabriel. Yes, because that's a different song by In Flames that is also not being played. So apparently it doesn't really care is that what Apple Music? Uh, oh, you know what I forgot? What? Hey, serious? Listen to Alias In Flames. Now playing Alias by In Flames. Oh, see, it sounds, that sounds okay. Is it extreme left, right? I don't know. Yeah, it's stereo. Okay. I hear that in the left and that in the right. Hey Siri, stop. There we go. Um, what Beatles song is extremely left and right? Oh yeah. Name a Beatles song. What's a really good stereo song? <laughs> you have stumped the entire studio with that question. Should have prepared this. Ever so like a Palmer Car Carnival Nine, Third Impression Part Two. No. Hey, here is. Get over here and tell <laughs> yeah. Listen to Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Carnival Nine, Third Impression Part Two. Sure. Here's a personalized station of Emerson, ah. Lake, and Palmer. <laughs> okay, this is good. Okay, this is good. Let's see. Her. Welcome back, my friends, to the show. It's definitely stereo. Hold on, I can't quite. Is it better? Oh, you're right. <laughs> All right, it works. I can't confirm. Quick, get that man some more Red Bull. And hitting either one of them stops them both. There you go. Boy, that was a long way to go. For some. <laughs> it's really not that interesting. That's how so, we fight for a demo. In theory, now we could also do multi-room sound because I could uh, I could play a group with the two uh, Siri on it. I mean, the two uh, HomePods on it in different rooms, and I could say, make that all be the same. 